Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my plan with me in my business planner. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's a little sneak peek at my business planner. I do plan on doing a whole video on this once I have a bunch of the things ready for the shop, but let's go ahead and plan for this week. I'm going to be using the teacup chick sticker kit along with a bunch of little goodies that I have pulled out for this week. So I am going to be using the Erin Condren compact vertical insert. You can see I have actually put them in my business planner and punched them to fit on the disc. Now I did have to trim the paper to make it fit in this planner, which is a half letter disc. The sticker kits work perfectly fine in here still. I just have to make sure that if I do cover up one of the punches like here, that I repunch it so that I can put it back in the planner. So um, I usually take this out for just the top washi and then put it right back in the planner so that I plan for the rest of the week. So I have been planning in this business planner for a couple of months now. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you probably have seen a couple of sneak peeks. Now I have been contemplating getting the brand new Erin Condren spring planners, but I might actually um, do the compact vertical again and put it in my business planner. If you guys want to see a video of me putting that together, definitely let me know down below. So I just repunched the top hole on both of the sheets using the Happy Planner Disc Punch. It's actually my favorite disc punch. I have a couple other heavy duty commercial ones that I use for the shop, but I get a lot of questions on what punch to get to punch the reusable sticker paper that we use for our sticker albums. And I would definitely recommend the Happy Planner Punch. The stem's a little bit longer and the holes a little bit larger so the paper will glide easy when you turn the pages. So I'm putting down all of my date covers down now for the week. This week is actually going to be super super busy. Um, usually my plan with me videos are for a month long. I typically like to have all of my stickers down before I actually start planning for the month but this month has been flying by super fast already. So I decided to just do this one week and this way you guys get actually a more thorough look at how I plan for the week and see me put down all of the stickers for the week and write in some of the plans that I have going on this week because we have something super fun coming up. Oh my gosh, guys, I just dropped my sticker that I cut, fell right in between the disc. It totally made me think of Operation, the game that I played as a kid when I grabbed it with the scissors. Have you guys played that game? I'm sure you have. It was was one of my favorite games to play. So um, I'm writing in on Monday my orders. I typically do orders every Monday and Thursday. Those are the main days. If I have lots of orders throughout the week, then I will add another day on Friday as well so that they go out on Saturday. So I'm putting in a couple of my checklists. Trim the one on Monday because I know when I do orders, it is typically the whole day of doing orders. So I don't like to give myself a long running to-do list when I already know that I'm going to be super busy. I also also like to work out. It really does help give me the energy and strength to get through my long day. Actually, Monday and Thursday are my favorite days of the week. Not only do I get to wrap up all of your orders, which is super fun for me, I also get to listen to audiobooks or a podcast. I like to split it up. Usually on Monday, I will listen to um, an audiobook, and then on Thursday, I'll 
I'll listen to a podcast unless I get really sucked into one or the other and I need to binge listen to them. Um, I'll typically split it up. So I just grabbed a couple of my stickers in my sticker album. If you didn't see my sticker album setup video, I'll leave that link down below. I have a brand new video showing you how I set up my sticker album. You can see there are tons of stickers in here and lots of fun categories. I have no problem finding any of my stickers anymore and it really has gotten me to use a lot of my stickers instead of hoarding them or losing them like I used to do. So on Tuesday you can see I need to put out the hummingbird feeders. Oh my goodness guys I cannot wait to start seeing hummingbirds again. If you guys have hummingbirds already at your place definitely let me know down below. I'm always a little unsure of when I should put the hummingbird feeders up. I think last year I did it in March and it was way too early so I'm waiting just a couple more days to put them out and hopefully I will see them shortly after. So Wednesday I am going to be doing sale prep all day long so I'm just going to have a long checklist so that way I can write down anything that I need to get done for the big sale that I'm going to be having on the 21st. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll probably have already seen a little sneak peek of that but I am in the Planner Boss Collective sale from April 21st to the 23rd. We will be 25% off all weekend long so definitely mark your calendar for that because it is going to be a really fun event. We're going to have tons of freebies, giveaways, lots of fun stuff going on. I'm going to film a lot of little short reels I think and maybe a little studio vlog while the sale is going on so um, you don't want to miss that. So I'm putting down an Earth Day sticker for the 22nd. It's actually one of my favorite holidays for the year. I mean, who doesn't love Earth, right? I hope you do. So um, I'm putting down a long sticker for the sale from the 21st to the 23rd. I thought it was good to put it up at the top here so I just know that is what my focus is for the whole weekend. So I will be on Instagram all weekend long, on my stories probably every single day. So if you guys have any questions or anything, definitely let me know over there. I'm also putting down a larger full box sticker. That was actually from my 7x9 vertical kit. I like to keep all of my leftover stickers for the same collection together so that way if I need a sticker that matches my colors I can grab it. And actually I will be doing a full video on how I store my leftover stickers. I have a lot of people asking me how to use their leftover over stickers from their kits and how to store them so I thought that that would be a fun video for me to film so stay tuned for that it should be coming up in the next couple of weeks here I have been really looking forward to getting back into filming YouTube video. It's been a while since I've had a consistent YouTube video schedule, but I think that having this business planner dedicated to all of my um, work stuff is going to really help me get back on track with YouTube videos. I feel like it has already. Um, the last couple of weeks I've gotten so much better with getting back into filming. It all also might help that spring is here. I feel like I come alive every time spring pops its head up. Does anybody else feel that way? Just the sun just makes me feel so much happier. So expect a lot more videos coming out soon. So I am finishing off with this week by putting down my daily habit tracker. I also have the larger box up top which I am going to write in all of the things that I need to do for this 
this week. It might be a little bit longer than the smaller list, um, which is nice that I have so many checklists for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.